charity is a low hanging fruit. By far, it has the worst incentive alignment out of any system I know of that has any kind of real use case in this world. There's donors donate funds and they lose, but their contributions raise the standard of living for everyone else in society. Uh, this, is a, this is a really sad state. And I believe blockchain technology has this opportunity, has a special use case of realigning incentives. When the DAO collapsed and it was, it was pretty wild, the White Hat Group really had to look at where do we want to practice DAOs. We wanted to keep the DAO mission alive. And charity just seemed like the best opportunity. Number one, uh, it's really low risk. I don't think the SEC is going to come after anybody who creates a token to help the homeless. Uh, also, uh, it's just an opportunity. It's an opportunity to actually uh, give DAOs a better name. If you're using DAOs to do good work in society, uh, people will help, will believe that decentralized governance might actually have some other impact besides just making investors rich. You know, that's that's not that's not exciting to me, and it's not exciting to the White Hat Group in general. Uh, the other unknown benefit of really working in the charity space and trying to bring DAOs to charity is the it's an amazing filter. Uh, the Giveth community is just full of like kind-hearted people that want to make the world a better place and aren't motivated by money. And uh, that filter was like an added bonus that we didn't see coming. So uh, it's been a, a wild ride and it's been a lot of fun. And I think we chose the right direction. And now that we have actually the Giveth DAP on, uh, in a feature complete state, we can start doing these economic experiments and start fund uh, funding DAOs for charity in unique ways that aligns incentives that people never thought was possible.